Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so called black man. Elon Musk claims smartphones will get replaced by Neuralink in the future. Elon Musk claims smartphones will get replaced by Neuralink in future. <clears throat> okay, and if you don't know who Elon Musk is, he is the owner of a company that goes by the name of Neuralink that, you know, deals with, you know, things that go along and pertain to the neurons that goes in your brain and other things of that magnitude, okay? And this article reads, Neuralink, after years of trials, implanted its first chip in the brain of paralyzed patient Nolan Arbaugh. And Nolan Arbaugh was recently on the podcast Joe Rogan. And, you know, from watching the one or two clips that I've seen, you know, it seems to me as if this guy is getting ready to set the stage to be able to walk again, okay? Because some of the lingo and terminology that he used, you know, and uh, <clears throat> some of the lingo and the terminology that he used would insinuate that he's not too far off from walk, uh, walking. And this device that is implanted in his brain could, you know, very much well aid in that process, okay? He claims that his spinal cord isn't completely de uh, detached from his brain. It's just uh, damaged where he can still feel some of the movement in his hand, okay? And he goes on to say that, you know, Neuralink is doing these trials where they control the movements of uh, test subjects such as pigs where they will have a pig walk on the platform and then from that point forward they will control the pig movements okay involuntarily okay the pig would you know move his leg up and down and this is all being uh, controlled by this Neuralink uh, brain computer interface if you will so the pig will move his leg up and down involuntarily. It would turn his hip. And this is all being designed by, this is all being, uh, this was all being controlled by the Neuralink, okay? So this guy, he could very much well be setting the stage for him to, you know, get up and walk again. Why? Because his job for bringing forth information on this brain computer interface would have been uh, completed. And he no longer needs to play the role of the, the quadru, quadru, uh, quadriplegic, okay? Thus for rendering his services and now allowing him to get up and walk again, okay? Because who's to say, you know, this person is actually, you know, disabled to the point that he says he is, okay? This could all, this could all be a, you know, show being put on just to sell the product, all right? So it says tech billionaire Elon Musk has made bold claims smartphones will soon get replaced by Neuralink devices. Right. And you can very much well see that happening. OK, because if you know anything about prophecy, as it says in Revelation, the 13th chapter, he's going to call all both great and small, rich and poor to receive a mark in their forehead, which could very much well be what we're going to go into this article, that device that can allow you to operate what you would call right now your smartphone. But instead of having a smartphone in your hand, it's going to be in your head, your forehead, you know, which they call a BCI, a brain computer interface where you can interact with apps and things of that magnitude from, you know, just your thoughts. OK, <clears throat> so it says tech billionaire Elon Musk has made bold claims Smartphones will soon get replaced by Neuralink devices. The Tesla owner made the prediction while responding to a post on social media platform X in which a parody account named not Elon Musk asked users 
which you install a Neuralink interface on your brain to allow you to control your new X phone by thinking. And that's another thing. He's trying to come forth and bring forth this new phone that he's uh, titling it X. So he's calling it the X phone. And I guess it's supposed to be, I guess it can be compatible, you know, with your uh, BCI or your Neuralink interface. Okay. So this just goes to show you that, you know, this prophecy is moving forward. They're getting ready to bring forth this mark. Okay. Whether you are on board with it or you don't <laughs> see eye to eye with it. Okay. This will be a thing that's coming. Okay. It says, <clears throat> Salakia, replying to the post, Musk wrote, in the future, there will be no phones, just Neuralinks, you know, and we could very much see that happening because back in the day, there weren't phones. Messages would get sent by, you know, uh, either mailmans or, you know, messengers that would ride on horses and deliver the messages. Then they came with the uh, telephone, <clears throat> the landline, which, you know, then transfer to like something like a payphone where you had to, you know, uh, you had to dis, uh, you had to put in like a quarter or a dime. It was thirty five cent when I was coming up, but now you don't even see payphones anymore. Now everything is a smartphone, and how those were obsolete, the smartphone can can be obsolete as well. You know, leaving this uh, Neuralink interface or BCI. A valuable option, okay, especially for the mark. So it says Neuralink is a techno technology a technology company building a device designed to connect human brains directly to computers. And you may say, hey, this is not going to happen, but you got to understand. It tells us in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, the 12th verse, if I'm not mistaken, that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So, you know, this is pretty much already a lawless society. So it's not going to be nothing for someone to go in and get this uh, procedure done so they can, you know, be part of this society, be part of this, you know, world where vanity is, you know, a must. OK, because it's all about fame. You know, who can up the next person? You got viral videos where people trying to do ridiculous things to get likes and looks how much more if you can now share that individual you know and allow that individual to now you know be part of your your journey you know by connecting with you know that person through brain computer interface okay seeing it through the eyes of that individual okay this is the this is the this is the phase we come into okay a society that is vain, okay? So it says, earlier this year in January, Neuralink, after years of trials of on animals, implanted its first brain-computer interface, BCI, in the brain of Nolan Arbaugh, 29, who was paralyzed due to an accident eight years ago, first posted, reported. Right, and like I said, you know, on that podcast, Joe Rogan podcast, you know, he opened up or he left, you know, room for the uh, for the possibility of him walking again. OK, what's showing you, you know, this could all be, you know, a, a rules just to be set up just so they could further push this, you know, uh, campaign, you know, this Neuralink campaign and other companies like it. It says after the chip's implantation, Arbaugh was able to play games using his brain as well as move mouse cursors. Musk's statement has come at a time when Neuralink is making significant strides in brain chip technology. However, the company is also facing its set of challenges. According to a report by the New York Post, a former Neuralink animal care specialist, Lindsay Short, has filed a lawsuit against the company. She alleges that the brain chip failed to provide proper protective equipment while she cared for animals. Okay. You know, you always going to have your one or two, you know, people that didn't see, you know, an issue at the time, but now that, you know, she's left the company. Now she wants to, you know, spill the beans per se. 
So this thing is moving. It's coming along. You know, the mark is going to be implemented. It's going to be made mandatory. OK. And whether you are ready or not, it's coming. And very much so. OK, because this is a lawless society. This society doesn't respect the law. OK, it's do as thy will. That Thelly, that Thelly Ma. OK, Alex, Alex Akrati. OK, do as I will. OK, so this very much will can take, you know, take off. And it very much will, because this is the new this is the new phase that we're getting ready to come into. OK, how are you going to up the other person? All right. Because just seeing it on your camera phone, on your phone, is not is not going to do. It's not just watching something on your phone is not good enough. You're going to want that personal experience, okay? That in depth live, you know, experience that you're going to only be able to get by experiencing it through the eyes of the beholder, okay? Which that neural link that they're going to put in your forehead is going to allow you to do plus more, all right? So let's get a few precepts and let's take it from there. All right, this is Revelation 13 and 16, and it reads, And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, the one in your foreheads could, you know, function and do multiple things, okay? Such as if you get this mark in your forehead, you could potentially separate yourself above the rest, okay? This may be a status quo. Like, if you have this mark, you are, you know, in the upper echelon of society, okay? Because now with this, you know, you can download books and programs and degrees that would have taken you years upon years to finish. You can get it done in the blink of an eye, separating yourself from the rest, okay? Separating you, separating yourself from the fry, okay? So this could very much well be a, you know, they could have different levels of this mark, okay? The one that you get in your forehead could be the one that, you know, you are allowed to, you know, download degrees. You know, it may be, you know, different uh, tiers, okay? You may get the uh, mark that's put in your forehead and it may be a tier. It can maybe have a tier one, a tier two, a tier three. That allows you to do so much, okay, to separate yourself from the rest, all right? While the one that you get in your hand, it may just be only for transactions, okay, and venues, okay? You want to go to the store, you want to uh, get paid, okay? This is the mark that you're going to have. You're going to have to have it in your hand, okay, in your right hand or in your forehead, all right? And the one in your forehead, it may vary. It, it could serve the purpose of, you know, let's say if there's a person that doesn't have uh, any type of uh, ligaments. I mean, not ligaments, but appendages, like arms and something like that, where they can't hit, where they can't put the mark in their right hand, okay? Well, they may be able to use it in their forehead. So, you know, this is the way that this place is moving, okay? It's a lawless society. <laughs> and although you may look at it and say, ain't no way, you know, you got people out there that's that's seething for the opportunity, you know, to get fame and notoriety. All right. Imagine downloading a bachelor degree in under 15 seconds. OK, that would that would definitely separate you from the rest. OK, so this is the direction that this place is moving to. All right. It says and he causes all Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Both small and great, <clears throat> rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So it's going to be made mandatory. OK, in order for you to do business, you're going to have to have this mark. All right. It says and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. So only way you're going to buy and sell is if you have this mark. OK. You're not going to be able to complete transactions over the Internet. You're not going to be able to complete transactions in person. You're not going to be able to uh, receive your uh, UBI, your universal basic income. You're not going to be able to survive on this man grid without this mark. OK, so verse 18 says, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding 
count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. <clears throat> six six six. Okay. So this is where we at. Okay. Be prepared to see, you know, more things relating to this type of, you know, verbiage come out in, in, in the future. Okay, Neuralink this or a competitor of Neuralink that's coming and breaking through with, you know, new technology that now you can, you know, control your phone through your thoughts. Now you have a brain computer interface. Okay, because the phone, the smartphone, you know, <laughs> hey, it's it's played out basically. Okay, the smartphone is playing out. It's time to up it up. Okay, this is going to be that last push that Esau Edom, you know, comes with. <clears throat> now this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 in verse 9 it says even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders right and that's exactly what this is it's a lying wonder okay and if I could find it I'm going to get that video of that pig where you know they are controlling him, okay? And matter of fact, let me go and see if I can pull it up right now. Give me one second. Okay, so here you have the pig that I was referring to with the Neuralink uh, chip. And you're going to see that the Neuralink is controlling this pig's uh, motor cortex, okay? It's making the pig do, do what it wants it to do. It's not the pig that's doing it. It's the Neuralink, okay? So let's let it play a little bit. Okay, so here's a pig walking on a treadmill. And you may have seen something like this before in a previous uh, Neuralink presentation. But unlike before, this pig has more than one Neuralink device. There's a device in the brain, but there's also one in the spinal cord. And we can stream neural data from this device, these devices, in real time and use them to do things like decode the movement of the joints of the pig. So here you can see on the left a time series of the hip, knee, and ankle, and we're decoding uh, those, those movements. So this is super cool, but that's actually not what we want. So just to make it clear, they're controlling the pig movements, okay? With a device with one device in the pig, you know, brain, and the other device in the pig spinal cord so they're controlling the pig's movement they're making the pig move okay so we want to go in the other direction we would like to stimulate the spinal cord and cause movement to occur okay so let's do that so here's a pig uh, a happy and healthy pig doing what pigs like to do which is root around for food and snacks and as you'll see on the floor there's a blue square uh, this is a voluntary engagement zone where the pig places itself uh, indicating that it's comfortable to receive st stimulation. When it's in the zone, we stimulate, and if the pig leaves the zone, we'll stop stimulating. Uh, and as before, you can see we're able to track the position of the joints and also stream neural data as well. Okay, so let's stimulate an electrode. So here's one electrode on one thread that when we stimulate causes a flexion movement of the leg. So on the left, you can see the movement of the joints and you can also see the times. And they use the word stimulate to, you know, make it more uh, pleasant to the, you know, to the listener. But actually, it's just sending a shock, okay? It's a shock that they're making this, you know, electro, electro, you know, move this pig's leg okay because why your brain it fires on electrons okay so they're sending they're sending signals to your brain which is shocking the the intended the intent the attendant the intended you know uh appendage okay whether it's your arm whether it's your leg it's the fact that they're sending these signals to your brain that's sending a shock to, you know, send a signal to that, you know, uh, damage, you know, part of your body to get it to move again. OK, so this is what you're seeing. Series of the stimulation pattern in yellow. So the leg is moving up. Here's another electrode, which when we stimulate causes an extensor movement. This is actually a little harder to see because the leg is straightening and the hips are shifting. But if you look carefully, you can see how uh, this is uh, the, the leg is moving. Okay, and there you have it, all right? So you're going to see, you know, people are going to believe that they're doing this, but in actuality, as he said, quote-unquote, 
they're they're stimulating it, okay? But in actuality, they're sending these, you know, shocks to the intended, you know, part of the body that needs to be stimulated, as he put, but it's actually being shocked to move, okay? Now let's go back to the scriptures. So 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9, it says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, right? And we know that's referring to Esau, Edom, so-called white man. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And they're going to believe that it is them that is, you know, thinking that and they're using the ability to think therefore they are to move whatever part that was damaged and was not ever going to be able to walk again that's why i said that current you know uh trial patient uh what's his name nolan arbaugh he's setting the stage for him to get up and walk okay because his job is going to have been accomplished of selling this neural link okay then what's next for him to get up and walk that's going to be the next phase or the next quote unquote miracle. OK, and people are going to buy it hook, line and sinker. So it says even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And that's going to be a sign and lying wonder when this guy gets up and walk. OK, because he was never and I'm just speculating. He was never that, you know, damaged to begin with. OK, this was all to sell a you know a device okay so when you see it don't be surprised okay it says and with all deceivableness num uh, verse 10 of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved right and that's why we say people are going to buy this they're going to run out and get this they're going to willingly put their hand out and get it place underneath their skin why saint matthew 24 and 12 it says and because iniquity shall abound so it's not going to be nothing it's not going to be you know nothing for someone to go out and sin okay they already doing it now okay sinning as sin sinning is at an all-time level right now this place is prime for judgment that's why you see these prophecies coming to pass, okay? Because sin is at an all-time high and the Most High is getting ready to judge this place. So, of course, the people are going to go out and to get these brain-computer interfaces. They're going to get these, you know, devices placed up underneath their skin and their right hand or in their forehead. Why? Because they have no respect for the Most High, okay? They don't reverence Him. That's why He's going to strike fear in them when He brings this judgment. When those missiles come, then they're going to know, okay, that a prophet has been amongst them. It's going to be too late, okay? <laughs> they're going to have sealed their fate when they go and receive this mark in their right hand or in their forehead pursuant to Revelation 14 verses 9 and 10, okay? So it's not going to be anything for, you know, especially the children, you know, the younger generation to get this. They're going to get it just by, you know? But for those that, you know, are resisting and saying they're not going to get it right now, they're, go they're going to get it because they have not known the Lord, okay? So, of course, he's going to let them, you know, be given over to their own, you know, to their own thoughts, to their own mind. And they're going to run out and get it. Make no mistake about it, all right? And it says, uh, St. Matthew 24 and 12, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. They're not going to care about standards and morals, okay? The Bible is going to be obsolete to them, okay? That's really what it's coming down to, all right? The word is getting ready to be drawn in, and if you don't have it by now, you're not going to get it, especially in that time, okay? So that's why we, this is why we're telling you, you know, this is why you need to repent while you still have time, while grace is still open, because once the Most High retrieve his word, and the famine of the world hit, then all hell is going to break loose. It's going to be fair game for it, for any and everybody out there, okay? Lawlessness is going to go at an all-time high, all right? And if you don't have that hedge around you from the most high, you're going to be left out there to uh, fend, defend for yourself, okay? So this is why we're telling you to repent, 
Okay? Be ye converted. So this is where we at, you know? Brain computer faces, you know, replacing the smartphone. All right? <laughs> Brain computer interfaces replacing the smartphone. All right? It's going, it's only a matter of time. All right? Prophecy will come to pass. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will not tarry. Habakkuk 2 and 3. Okay? So just be patient. Okay? Everything works according to the most high. All right? We on his we on his watch. We on his clock. Okay? He's not on ours. All right? So, you know, everything has its appointed time. So we just have to be patient and wait. All right? So let's uh, close out 1 Peter 5 and verse 8. And it reads, be sober. So you got to continue to be sober while you're waiting. You know, don't fall off. Don't get drunk and fall down. Be vigilant. Continue to watch. Okay? You got to. <laughs> All right? Because your adversary, the devil, he's looking for that moment, that, that moment of weakness when you're not watching and you fall off your watch and you get drunk, you know, either off his philosophies or something else in the world. And now you caught off guard. It says, as a roaring lion, walk up about seeking whom he may devour. So if you're not watching for this devil, this lion, he's going to catch you off guard. All right. And you're going to fall right into his snare, his trap. All right. So that's why we tell you to continue to be sober and be vigilant. All right. You got to. So with that being said, I pray someone was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We almost home. Shalom. Peace.